In this video, I want to show you how to use the Kotlin Android extensions that makes life a lot easier when doing Android development. First, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and call this Kotlin Extensions. Go ahead and click Next. Next, choose. I'm going to choose Basic Activity just for this example. You can use this in any existing project. I'm going to close Next and then Finish. This assumes, of course, that you have set up the Android Studio plugin for Kotlin programming, so be sure to watch the other video in order to do that. Your view may look a little different here, but first thing we want to do is go to the main activity Java class. And here we're going to convert this to Kotlin. So to do that, I go to Code and choose Convert to Java File to Kotlin File. We'll go ahead and accept that. All right, now from the previous video, you recall that once we start editing the file, this will allow us to configure the Gradle plugin. So I'm just going to click in and then it's going to say Kotlin not configured. Go ahead and select configure. Choose OK for the defaults. And then we'll go ahead and sync. All right. Now, in order to reference the Kotlin Android extension, we first need to go to the module build Gradle file. And inside this, we see the apply plugin. We're going to add another plugin. So here we're going to type apply plugin Kotlin dash Android dash extensions. Go ahead and sync. This plugin is already part of the installation when you added the Kotlin programming plug in to Android Studio. So all we're doing is enabling it. Now in the main activity class, what I want to show is currently whenever we want to reference a view item within our layout file, we have to call find view by ID and then reference the ID name and initialize it this way. Now the cool thing about the Kotlin extension is that it allows you to remove a lot of this code and to do shorthand in order to reference the ID in your view. So, for example, if we go to our content main view and we go to the text to see this layout, over here in the preview we see we have a text view. In order to reference this text view, I need to give it an ID. So I'll go ahead and start typing, it's going to recommend the Android ID. And I'm just going to call this hello text. Now, if I go back to my main activity, if I wanted to you know, reference that, I would do the find view by ID and reference it as a text view. But if I import the Kotlin extensions, then it's going to make this a lot easier. First thing I'm going to do is uh, expand my imports and I'm going to add a new import and it's going to be import Kotlin X dot Android dot synthetic dot main and then reference the layout file that I want. So in this instance I want to reference content main dot XML and from here I want to reference every property so if I just go and do asterisk or star, I will then reference every property in that layout file. Now, if I do the same thing again, I can import the, the uh, activity main XML file, and I'll show you why I want to do that here. So let me just go here, main.activity main.star. Now notice here we have a reference to toolbar. We also have a reference to floating action button. If I go to my activity main XML file, 
Notice that here's the ID for the toolbar. Here's the ID for the floating action button. All right, here's where the magic happens. Notice here where I have this setup find view by ID. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. What happens is you'll notice that the toolbar, there's it recognizes it. There's no problem there. I'm going to go ahead and delete this as well. And what do you know? It recognizes it here. So let's go even further. Now let's reference the text view that I had. And I called it hello. And notice it already autocomplete because it found it for me. So I go hello text dot set text. I'm going to say hello by Brent. All right. Now what's happening is at compile time, the Gradle extension is converting this synthetic property and calling a method, the, all the methods for you. So it's doing all the work behind the scenes. So this is one way that can speed up your Android development using the Kotlin programming language. All right, leave any comments or questions below. If you'd like to learn more about the Kotlin Android extension, I'll leave a link to the page in the uh, kotlinlang.org website and watch out for more videos. What else? Uh, yes, subscribe. And yeah, have a good day, night, morning, or afternoon. <laughs>